Time now for our series, Cracking the Kid Code. And how hooked are your kids on their phones? TJ Holmes is here. And TJ, yeah. you and two teens, you gave up your phone yep. for an experiment. Yes. And uh, how did that go? See, this was scary. We always talk about people being hooked on their phone. That's one thing. But I saw how people physically, your body reacts mm -hmm. just by a simple ping. That, uh, that little thing can set you off and stress you out. I'm a little stressed already. A little stress. Okay, but that's not something you want your kid to be going through all day long. Your phone, a gateway to friends, work, and fun. But new research says our devices may cause anxiety. The more people use their phone, the more anxious they are about using their phone. Nancy Cheever's research at California State University <laughs> would make any smartphone junkie shiver. It suggests our phones are keeping us in a persistent anxious state where the only fix is the phone. So if you're constantly connected, you're going to feel anxiety. And the more people feel anxiety, that can lead to other things like mental health and physical ailments. So how much phone anxiety are we experiencing? Cheever runs an experiment that measures sweat and heart rate increases, essentially anxiety, when your phone rings or pings. To see it in action, we enlist two teenagers and me. Tell us it's gonna be fun, right? But there's a catch. To try to throw us off, researchers don't tell us what's really going on. Instead, we're asked to watch a video as part of an experiment on test anxiety. They put electrodes on my fingers, and what happens next... I'm just gonna put your phones back here because they might interfere with the equipment. ...is the key. Why? With the phones out of reach, Cheever's team is now able to track any changes in our heart rate and even measure perspiration as she calls our phones and sends us text messages that we're not able to look at. By about four billion His physiological arousal spikes quite a bit right after he hears the text come in. Cheever says most people have an emotional response that floods our bodies with stress hormones when we hear our phones. The question is, how much does it affect us? You can see immediately he started sweating quite a bit. He's anxious about his phone. During the five times she texts and two times she calls, I start to sweat. So what does that tell you about me from what she just observed? It tells me that when you hear a notification, mm -hmm. you become anxious. Yeah. Well, you're the one that took and my phone from me. If you let it sit there. <laughs> now for the teens. First up, Kiki. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and text her. Most contemporary physicists. Whose biggest response is four times higher than mine. And she's really reacting. Yeah. And it keeps going up here. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Then Gabby call. has the highest stress response of all of us. Psychotherapist Nancy Collier is author of The Power of Off. How much damage is being done to a child who is putting themselves through that level of anxiety? Let's meet in 30 years. Wow and we'll know the answer to that. You think we're in trouble down the road? I do. Now that you have seen the results, what do you think now? Uh, I should probably turn it off for sometimes in the day. I'm not convinced it'll be that easy. You sound like you can't function without your phone. <laughs> the way we're living doesn't actually serve our deeper well-being. All of this attention to technology and the mind and thoughts is coming at a great expense to what human beings need to feel well. Okay, so there could be some consequences down the road. The generation we have now, they're the guinea pigs. Yeah. We've never gone through this before. We could see maybe higher levels of depression and loneliness because we're so caught up in this device that they might be missing the world around them. But as an adult, you need to realize your kids kind of learn from you too. And I, I had to learn to personally yes. turn my phone off at yes. night. Try not to pay attention with, to it when you're with your family and kind of have some downtime. From Just it. like everything else, we are setting the example for them. If we, they see us, and there's so much importance in this versus cooking dinner or having a conversation with them, they're going to pick up on their behavior. Now, we asked our audience as well mm -hmm. out there, like, can you go without your phone for five minutes? Well, hopefully so, right? But 85% did respond and say, yes, they could go five minutes. 85% said yes? Five minutes. Can you go without your phone for five minutes? Five minutes. Okay, give it to me. <laughs> I'll give it back to you five minutes from now. All right, we're going to do a little test here. 